by the way, congratulations to Max Verstappen, who won the Formula One championship, the first non-English, non-German driver since Kimi uh, Raikkonen. Is that how you say his name? He's only a legend who retired today in 2007. Um fucking crazy race i'm really beginning to believe that formula one it's like the nfl you know when there's a fumble after a catch and it's like did he or did he not make a football move and to this day i i still don't know what the fuck a football did he tuck it in did he start to make the same silhouette as the heisman trophy that is a football move the knee's coming up but if you see the arm is still down Now, his wrist needs to be above his waist and his knee has to be above his hip flexor to constitute, like, what in the fuck is a football move? And I'm starting to feel like Formula One is, I I don't understand the fucking rules. Um, You know, I was losing my shit at the beginning of the race, like turn six on the very first lap. Lewis Hamilton had a great start. And uh, Max went aggressively into this turn, and Lewis really had no choice other than to just go off the track, which I didn't have a problem with. And then he just sort of got back on the track. Uh, Max was Max was going to pass him, and then Lewis went off the track and diagonally got back on the track and then was in first place again. And But he had a way bigger lead than he had before, and allegedly slowed down a little bit and made up for whatever advantage he had of going off the track. And I was just like, I don't think he did. And then he just sort of had this gigantic lead throughout, you know, double-digit lead, it seemed like 10, 11, 12, 13 seconds. And I got to hand it to Red Bull. Red Bull did every fucking thing they possibly could in case something crazy happened so that they would be in a position to take advantage of it. I think they did three pit stops or something. They pitted early, and I I think they went to a hard tire to try, you know, drive crazy and catch up with them. And uh, I want to say they pitted again. I don't remember. My kids were running around and all that shit. But then, um, anyway, it just looks like all of a sudden there's eight laps left. Lewis has this lead. Their car is great. Lewis is driving amazing as always. He's out there in that clean air and he's he's lapping people. And all of a sudden, in the back of the race, there was an accident which brought out the uh, whatever, the pace car or something. So they're driving around behind it. And it's basically Lewis Hamilton, four cars that have been lapped, and then Max Verstappen. So there was, oh, by the end, there was, only, there was like two laps left. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the stewards decided that the lapped cars could go in front of Lewis Hamilton, making Max Verstappen then right behind Lewis. He didn't have to fight through all of that traffic, which was great for the fans. But during that that caution, Max Verstappen went in and got on a soft tire. And I was wondering why Lewis Hamilton didn't. Maybe he was in first and was like, well, I can't pit because if I pit, he's just going to go and then he'll be in first place. Let's stay out here. I don't know what happened. But Red Bull team brought him in, stuck him on the soft tire, which is way more sticky than the medium of the hard, I guess. And uh, yeah, and then they let the lap traffic go ahead for the restart. And Max just had a way better grip than Lewis and uh, took a couple turns. He went past him. And once he went past him, it was like one or two times that maybe he thought Lewis was going to get him, and then that was it, and Max Verstappen ended up winning it. And uh, I got to say, Lewis Hamilton was a total class act, as was his dad went over and shook hands with Max and his dad. But uh, as much as I was rooting for Max Verstappen, and Lewis Hamilton drives me nuts where I feel like he's a uh, fucking all, like an all-star NBA player where they're never going to get called for an offensive foul. Um uh, I don't know about that. I don't understand. Why did they... I, I still don't understand why they let those cars go. Uh, it was just a weird fucking way. If It was brilliant racing by strategy by Red Bull to just keep trying to, you know, 
give themselves the best odds. They just kept doing that. But uh, that was a really weird. It was weird. I'm not. <laughs> it was fucking weird. So um, it was an amazing year. I missed most of it. I was so fucking busy. Um, but uh, congratulations to Formula One on, on an incredible season that literally came down to the last lap. Um, I was convinced. You know, in the end, I go that Lewis Hamilton and Mercedes are going to bitch. And they're going to reverse this thing. I was convinced that that was going to happen. It has not happened yet. So um, I don't know what. Did David Stern start uh take over F1 where he's decided that they needed a Celtics Lakers thing to get it fucking going again? So they, I, don't, I have no idea. Um, a rivalry or some shit. I have no idea. Anyway, but it was an amazing race. That's what I watched today. <laughs> 